Hello everyone, it's September 3rd, 2014. Interesting article on the adverse effects of narcissistic abuse on the victim. NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, Malignant Self-Love. The long-term effects of narcissistic abuse are very, very extreme and have an extremely adverse effect on the mental health, emotions, and the rest of the life of the victim. Life experiences are what make us who we are, and they can never be undone. However, most mental health professionals fail to understand the sheer amount of damage, both physically and psychologically, this is caused to the victim. That is caused to the victim. The victim has literally been made to endure emotional and mental torture and unnecessary suffering on a daily basis at the hands of the narcissist, and there was never anything they could do about it. They had no choice but to go on day after day, month after month, year after year, suffering endlessly, existence has become a chore. They have had everything they ever owned and everything they ever knew completely stripped away from them and have been imprisoned by the narcissist in a world they don't necessarily want to be a part of. They are forever destined to a life of emotional and mental and slavery and abuse. At least this is how it seems to them. When victims of narcissistic abuse turn to people for help, their claims are never fully understood, and most people fail to appreciate just how serious topics such as financial abuse really are and just how much damage they cause. People who converse with the victim when they are seeking help or even just acknowledgement fail to understand the true nature of such topics and often take the victim's claims with a pinch of salt, they shouldn't because this is another advantageous tool in the narcissist arsenal of plausible deniability. In the narcissist behavior, if the narcissist behavior is outrageous, then the claims of the victim will seem outrageous, and so nobody fully believes the victim anyway, therefore the narcissist gets away with it. Nobody would ever suspect or even be willing to consider that such an angelic, good as gold, and charismatic person could be capable of such outrageous and callous behavior, and so the narcissist knows they can get away with it. Having your money stripped away from you, and having someone have control over your finances, and what you are allowed to buy, is not only extremely degrading, but it is also, it also causes many further problems for the victim. They do not even have the freedom to walk into a shop and buy a packet of mints. They do not have the freedom to buy new clothes, shoes or a coat when they may desperately need these things those things they cannot even stop at a phone box to make a call should they wish to get in contact with someone the narcissist is treating them like a child and has made the victim completely dependent upon them yet the victim is usually left in a completely destitute state of existence there is no outside world anymore the narcissist has completely cut the victim off from real life just as anybody in a relationship would the victim tries to discuss their relationship problems with the narcissist, and this is actually one of the worst things they can do. In addition, people are likely to tell them to talk to their partner to try to work things out. However, the narcissist does not want to work things out. They are happy and they have had, they have their partner or victim exactly where they want them, and if the victim f feeds back honest information to the narcissist showing that they are unhappy with the situation, the narcissist will inevitably just kick the victim while they are down and abuse them even further. There is no compromise in a narcissistic relationship. You either do as the narcissist says or let them create even more damage, even though the victim may have already had their entire life stripped away from them already. Nobody outside of the relationship can see the real truth. Well, I have experienced for the first time in my life a family that actually treats their daughter, sibling, brother, sister in this way. And it, it is absolutely unbelievable because people present themselves in a certain way and it makes the claims seem so outrageous. But that's how they operate. And I am learning so much about people that behave this way. Um, it's important that we believe the stories of people being abused by and in these narcissistic relationships. I'm going to link below to this article, and this is a new book out 
called Know Your Enemy, Reflections of Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD. Have a great day, everyone.